Sanderson was with Olga Korpner? I didn't realize that. Yeah, me having a conversation about it, I assume you definitely liked it more than I did. Uh, how do you know? Because <laughs> I really, really didn't like it. Oh, okay. Then yes, perhaps. There was a series of paintings in that first room, and I don't think that I did them justice because it was one of the first rooms yeah, that I visited. The Keith Tyson stuff? Yeah, yeah, I thought they were very beautiful. I didn't like the, well, I should, I, the sculpture spoke to me less. Mm -hmm. But, and also again, that agencement, like with a sculpture with, my reading of it was limited enough that I had difficulty sort of seeing that relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there was one, just like the Ian Wallace and yeah. the, and the, and the sculpture, the sculptures of uh, David Armstrong sixes, but the paintings I thought, and also it took me a while to realize they were paintings. They kind of looked like oil stains, or they looked like you know paint stains, or something, or even like some kind of digital imagery. Yeah, what struck me that were they? They didn't look well, that. I was confused. Not yeah, these confused guys. About. Yeah. There was something almost like looking at. Um, material like stuff under a microscope, mm -hmm. you know, by bi in, yeah. in biology. But some of those works were very. Um, I thought that they, you know, there was that aesthetic beauty mm -hmm. quality to them. Um, again, I didn't. I don't think I, I did them justice because yeah. I kind of flew through there. Yeah, there's the ones where. The, where's the picture of them? Uh, Is it the sculptures you're looking for? No, this guy. The the Wallace ones, which yeah. are basically pictures just printed up on canvas and just. There was, a, there seemed to be a kind of retrospective element to the Ian Wallace's mm -hmm. pieces, like, you know, it's, there was some really early works that were there, there was a couple, and then there was this whole series of much more recent yeah. work. Um, and again, I think that reading would have been more effective in a different type of locale, looking just more at his work on its own, because I think there was something there that was interesting, but that it was lost in the context. This. I, I saw those boxes mm -hmm. and the delivery in different parts yeah. of the space. I'm not sure what that was about. The FedEx boxes mm -hmm. with the broken glass. Yes. I think he was just basically, in terms of as far as a chance sort of art object, in terms of by shipping glass boxes through FedEx, you know that they're going to get busted. You don't know how they're going to get busted and where the various cracks are going to appear and okay. where the things. And okay. Yeah. But, you know, there it's. Uh, the next day I went to, um, what's his name, uh, Raphael Lozano Hemmer's open house. Okay. And that, did you get a chance no. to say, oh, that was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Quite, quite like because see, as far as I can tell, he is the best artist working in town these days. Raphael Lozano Hemmer. Okay. He does large scale installation, citywide installations. Okay. And he was the Mexican representative for the Venice Biennale two years ago. So where is he doing this stuff? Uh, 4060 Sauron. 60, and what is it? Uh, oh, he does uh, completely electronic stuff. But was it, oh, no, I've heard of this guy. Mm -hmm. So was with the, was this a, a... It was part of the, uh, in affiliation with the uh, whole open studio thing. Le Apio? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. no, I didn't see that. Okay. That's too bad. Okay. So I'm working on, he knows me, and I'm working on trying to get special stuff. And if I do get that, I'll let you know. And by the way, Sylvain was extremely appreciative of you bringing all the people over. Oh, he was fantastic. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was, I really liked, it was amazing mm -hmm. ending in his studio, mm -hmm. like, uh, because he's so articulate, mm -hmm. and he, he just was able to kind of ground things. Mm -hmm. um, and I hadn't worked with him before, but it didn't surprise me. I, I, I feel like he's a very well-respected yes. artist mm -hmm. in the art world, and he carries a lot of... Um, there's just something, there's something, he, when I think of him, I, th I see him as a kind of soul. There's sort mm -hmm. of, I think there's people in the, in our community that represent certain things, mm -hmm. and there's something about him as being part of the soul of the community, yeah. of the arts community. Um, and I felt that in our visit. I felt that mm -hmm. that was translated there quite nicely. Yeah, so yeah. It was, I was happy to yes. end in that place. And that, your, your, that whole tour went well? It was nice. Okay. It was, uh... It was, I was really surprised by the turnout. Mm -hmm. um, we'd done it, this was our third, this is the third year of the APO, mm -hmm. and this was our third year doing a, some kind of studio visit. In the past, we'd kind of organized it more on our own, and it would always been open to the public, but, um, 
you know, this this time it was we were really part of the programming. Mm -hmm. We had done some outreach before, and we we already knew there were going to be a lot of people because just through our personal email to our mm -hmm. our people we know, there was already about twenty people who had said that they mm -hmm. they were going to come, and I think the total was like sixty. It was really far more mm -hmm. than I'd anticipated. So there was something um, that caught people's imagination, I think, and um, so we had chosen the. 305 Bed Chasse, mm -hmm. which is a really interesting yeah. artist space, and then just three artists because we only had about an hour, yeah. an hour and a bit, so mm -hmm. we wanted to have at least 20 minutes in each space. Um, and we chose people at different mo moments in their careers, mm -hmm. a young artist, a more a more established artist like Sylvain, yeah. we, we went to Alexis Lavoie's space, and then we went to a photographer, Jacinthe oh. Lessard's space. And, um, you know, I, I really enjoy doing mm -hmm. those types of visits, but for me they're intimate visits and it's it's a little bit of a challenge having yeah. an intimate conversation with 55 people mm -hmm. in your studio. Yes. And all artists said, we've never had so many people in our space at one time. You know, it was a bit overwhelming, mm -hmm. but it was, um, I mean, it was also fun to inhabit yeah. the space in that way. Mm -hmm. And I thought the artists, I mean, they just handled themselves with such grace under the circumstances, mm -hmm. as did the public. Yeah. You know, they're very respectful, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, it's kind of intimidating to yes. have a crowd. Yeah. And literally in just that space, which would be, like, probably as big as this room, mm -hmm. we had 50, and it was no windows, yeah. so it was hot. And, you know, some people were sitting, and we were all in front of the work. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody could yeah. see the work because there was all these bodies. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it was actually kind of an interesting experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there when I'm giving tours, I try to cap it at 20 people tops. Realize any more than that, I'm not going to be able to be able to speak to people. But in this, and we talked about yeah. that. I remember Mathieu Bossejour, who was, yeah. and we talked about, and he said, "Listen, if we have more people, let's deal with that problem when it comes up." Mm -hmm. And you know, we just we just had no idea that there mm -hmm. would be so many. Yes. I think I would have divided the group in two yeah. and, and done something differently, which which we couldn't plan for next mm -hmm. time. But. Yeah, the sort of thing where if there's sixty, and you're doing three studios. Yeah. Twenty okay. twenty twenty. Yeah, start start. Okay. 20 minutes from now, uh -huh. everybody moved, like musical chairs. Except that there was me. I was oh, sort of, we would work. have had to have three Lara's okay. or three people okay. playing that role. Okay. And that's what we had to plan for. Mm -hmm. okay. Which would have been fine mm -hmm. had we been prepared, you know? You're right, we could have mm -hmm. done that more effectively. Cool. Which point from this, I think I'm yeah. definitely going to be able to get stuff. Okay. You feel comfortable? Sure. Okay. Yeah. You want to schedule another one? Do you want to do... I would I would be happy to schedule another mm -hmm. one. I don't. I mean, we can. I don't know where, around what. I'd say to me, pick a show, mm -hmm. and we both go see it, and we talk about it. Again. Okay. That to me would be a perfect sort of thing, and at which point getting into the habit of sure. whether it's once a week, once a month, once every. I think once eight. a week is too frequent for okay. me at this point, mm -hmm. but um, you know I think I don't know what the timeline could be, but we could mm -hmm. have maybe two. One or two shows a month. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think just to start. Yeah, it's for a certain me, thing. Given, given that I'm going to be cutting it up into ten to fifteen minute things, yeah. and I envision this is going to take probably about like two episodes. I can pump out stuff once a week. Right from but one we, interview. Yeah, but we don't have to do it. Yeah, but we don't have to do it once a week. So let's do that. Okay. Um, I would like to. I would really be interested in looking at the tree now when it comes mm -hmm. up. When is that? That's in later? October. Okay. Oh, yeah. I thought it was earlier than that. No. Uh, well, that's that's in a while then. Mm -hmm. I like the mode la photo. Like if we're looking just at visual arts, I don't know if we want to move beyond that. But let's say we're staying in that realm. I, I will follow you really because there I'm doing lots of other stuff. And so okay. like I interviewed Mark Longto uh, earlier this week, and so if there's stuff that I want to get on video, I am definitely capable of doing that myself. I, right. Yeah, yes, I would like to do stuff with you, but there was stuff I would do on my own. Sure. So I did this sort of thing as far as the conversations about shows. Right. I will definitely follow your lead as to what you want to see, what you think is worthwhile and appropriate. Okay. Well, yeah. if there's things you want to suggest, I'm open yep. to it mm -hmm. too. Because as when Jay comes, when mm -hmm. if you have two small kids, yes. getting out to bear massage is just not. Mm -hmm. you, it's like you make a concerted yes. effort to to make it out, mm -hmm. right? It's not like it's part of your social schedule. Yeah. I would be, to me, it's the sort of thing. Vernissage never really got. Maybe I have to force myself to put reminders in my agenda. I gotta make it to this one. Right, or not even the vernissage, but just the shows. I gotta go see this one. Right. And so see, like, I know I gotta go see Ignite, just because I need mm -hmm. probably about three more artists under the age of thirty. 
very, very soon. Oh, right, that's where your show is sort of. Did you see Alexis Lavois's work? I mean, he's the painter in, uh, that we visited. He mm -hmm. just won no. the RBC award okay. this year, and he was in Videsa. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's had, you know, he's had some kind of critical mm -hmm. acclaim mm -hmm. in the last year, which is new. But he's, you know, I don't know. He might be somebody you're interested. Okay. You might be. Interested. I will check my mail right there. So I went to basically because I emailed both Sylvain and McLean about uh, doing interviews with them, mm -hmm. and McLean said, "Why don't you swing by for uh, we're talking about during open house, and we can discuss it." And then I swung by. Twice and he wasn't there both times. McLean? Yes. Oh, well, he was there for our yes. visit. Mm -hmm. He and Sylvain did both did yeah. it, which was nice. And we talked about that relationship too, about you know sharing a space mm -hmm. and, and what that meant, that friendship and yes. that relationship. I thought that was kind of interesting to cover. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'll uh, again, like if there's something that you're interested in, also okay. let me know. I definitely because excited. I'm I'm you know I'm flexible. Once I get my computer up, I can look at my agenda and my folder. Say these are the ones that have blipped on my radar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I would want to thank you very, very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wasn't too painful. No, it was, it was okay. Okay. Then. Uh.